In a few weeks' time, there's going to be a wonderful event in the diocese when I consecrate the new chapel of the Aboriginal Catholic Ministry at the Other Way Centre. And next year, we're going to be revealing some new initiatives we're taking in the area of social justice so that we're able to really come to grips with the issues that face us uh, as we live in our society today. So while we do have problems and difficulties, it is important for us to see the things that are happening around us and the positive elements that there are in our lives. And to recognise the fact that this is true because of the relationship we have with the Lord who comes to our aid. As we face up to what we need to do in order to renew the life of the church, uh, it's important for us to remember that this won't happen out of our own talents or simply as a result of our own efforts. We need him to help us. And he will be true to his promise that he'll be with the church right to the very end of time. So we can depend upon him. So at present, while we are engaged in doing many things, we must make sure that we remain in contact with him and look to him to be our helper and our guide, to support us. So while we take up these challenges, it is important for us to remember that a deep personal relationship with the Lord is an important part of the way that we live our lives today. And this is already happening. These are the results that I'm seeing in the life of the diocese as I go around because in our diocese there are so many thousands of really good people who remain close to the Lord and try to do the best that they can in his name today.